Hey everybody, this is Robin with Stamp with Dr. Robin. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator in San Diego, California, where it's a beautiful but warm 85 degrees today with a little light breeze, and we are just all enjoying our day here. Um, been on my little walk, did some yard work, um, and now I'm here with you guys. And today we're going to be playing with the Storybook Gnomes Suite which is in the new July through December uh, mini catalog. And um, I'm just checking to make sure that I'm actually coming live on you with you today because I don't see myself yet. So hopefully this is working. Anyways, the storybook gnomes are in the July through December catalog and I think they're adorable. Um, they match also something in the celebration catalog, although they don't even point that out in the celebration catalog. And speaking of that, hopefully everybody knows at this point that we're in celebration. And that means that for either a $50 purchase or a $100 purchase, you get some free gifts. Um, just of note though, they're only while supplies last. Hey Julia, thanks for coming on and watching with me. Um, anyway, I was just saying that the celebration um, stuff that's in the the free celebration catalog is while supplies last, and the pool party and soft sea foam, sea foam cards and envelopes have already sold out, and they're saying we're not getting any more in. So two weeks and a little more into this sale, and we're already out of one of the the free items. So don't wait. So. We got a bunch of people walking. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Doris. Um, so, and then the only th other thing I want to say um, is mark your calendar for August 14th because I'm going to be having a class here at my house if you're local like Tammy is. Um, and the class is going to feature the storybook gnome suite because I've been playing with that a lot and it's really fun. So I'm going to put you down here for a sec. So hold on. That far down. Hopefully you can see everything okay. So this is the storybook gnome suite. Um, it is on page 42 and 43 of the July uh, through December catalog. These are just some really cute, look this is a little frame thing they just used for them. And then these are the various things in here and I will show them to you and hopefully everybody's noticed by now that they do tell you down below all of the um, papers what the different colors are in the papers and they also do it on the back of all the papers so that's really really cool too um, so let me just show you everything that's in this suite because of course I marked the gotta have it all part so first we have the kindest gnomes bundle and that includes the stamp set with the four different gnomes um, as well as their little mushroom house and some cute little sayings and then the dies that cut out the little gnomes the mushroom these two we're not going to use today but they're a little like gumdrop thing I'm not sure what this is. Maybe it's for a nose or an eyeball or something. Some grass. And the, the cool thing too um, is that you can use this little beard and the feet and the hat and the nose and you can make your own little um, gnome. So that is one of the really cool things about this suite, I think anyway is that you can there's basically three ways to use the gnome so since i just showed you that here's one of them if you take the hat and i just cut these out the shoes whoops they even tell you where the little nose goes can you see that it's kind of embossed on there you put your little nose on there and you put the little hat on and you've got a gnome just made out of dyes. You haven't stamped anything at all. And 
Here's just a quick look at a card I made using just cutting out that, that gnome. So way number two actually involves using the paper because the dies, is it this one? No, it is not that one. Cut out the gnomes on the paper. There's two different dies that do that, two different gnomes. I got my little washi tape ready to go to help hold them. So that's way number two. You can cut them out using the dies. And obviously you can also just stamp them and, and color them in. So since we have this out here, let's go through the paper. Like I said, this is the one that you can cut out these gnomes. Um, this is the back, nice little winter sweater. We've got the mushrooms that you could just, you know, put one of these guys on and put a sentiment and be done. Back of that has some great little snowflakes. We've got some little scenes that you could fussy cut or cut out with maybe an old one or something. And then also these mushrooms. We're gonna use one of these today. You can cut out the mushrooms with the dies also. And that works for the stamp set as well as the um, paper. More little scenes, more little winter scenes. We're also gonna use one of these little birdies here and just fussy cut them and you can cut out the animals. These would have to be fussy cut. And these cool little trees. I love this scene. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it because I almost don't wanna cut it up because it's so pretty. And then another um, snowflakey kind of set. Now the other thing I want to show you, and again that's the Storybook Gnomes paper pack, DSP, is that the Rings of Love, which is a free celebration while it supplies last item, also as you can see goes with the gnomes because it has those cute little those little mushrooms like you have in the set. It's called Rings of Love because it's designed to go with the Rings of Love set that has this little wooden stuff in it. And then some poinsettias. We're actually gonna be using this piece of paper, just the trees, some houses. My daughter's buying her first house soon and I'm gonna, don't tell her, use this to make a card probably. Except that I also really love that side. This will make some nice fall cards, just a pretty pastel -y. Um I guess this is kind of a summery one. That would make some nice Christmas cards also. Love these little birds, goes nicely with our trees. This is what I use to make the hat on that one that I showed you. So that's the Rings of Love DSP that you can get for free. So, oh, the other things that are in this um, set are this blue and white ribbon. And I just wanna show you that that ribbon, it's kind of a twill ribbon and this is, I'm not sure what kind of, it's like it's glued together on here. I just want to show you when you're tying this, you're going to want to tie it using the rabbit ears. You can see how you can see both sides of that here. And then what you're going to want to do, you know, it'll be white in the middle, is just kind of turn this over like that. And that's how you're going to want to make your bows. I just wanted to show you. all the different colors that we can put some on today. And then also this little puff paint that you're supposed to squirt out and then actually you're supposed to heat it up. And that um, 
makes it kind of puff up a little for your for your little Christmas scenes, I guess. All right, so here is the card that we're going to make. And remember I told you we're gonna use those little um, trees from the Rings of Love. But the exciting thing about this is that it's not just a lay flat card, it actually stands up. I'm hoping you can see that. It's what we call, let me turn it sideways. It's what we call a double easel fold, and it looks complicated, but really it's not at all. So it stands up like that, and it folds completely flat into a regular, regular size card. So, and then, you know, if you get lost in terms of all the, the measurements, Go to my blog. Later this afternoon, I'll have all the measurements at stampwithdrobin.blogspot.com. The other thing I've been doing, I've been showing you guys this, is just taking old DSP and cardstock and making a template so that next time I do this, I have all the measurements here. I don't have to keep this card forever and not send it like we all tend to do. But this way I just have a template and I write on here, okay, the base was this, this blue piece was this, scored here, and then it's all ready to go. And then I'll just put it in my little thing that has all the different cards. So you guys ready? So first thing we're gonna do is we have just a regular piece of cardstock that's four and a quarter by 11 scored in the middle at five and a half. So that's just a normal piece of, a normal card base is how you start it off. And that I'm using the thick Whisper White, excuse me, Basic White that I usually do, but I think with this card it's even more important. Now the next piece on here, our soft suede piece is four inches by ten and a quarter. I'll say it again, four by ten and a quarter. And then it is scored at two and a half and five. So not quite in half. You're going to fold it as if you're folding it in half. And then you're going to fold back on that other little piece that was the two and a half fold. Okay, and basically you're just gonna stick it on here like that. Couldn't be easier, right? See that? In fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and stick it on now. Let's just make sure those, those folds are good. You can use whatever adhesive is your favorite. But basically, you're sticking it on almost like it's um, upside down. And you're just going to try to center that on here like you normally would. That's basically the hardest thing about this. Next is we have our little trees. Okay, so this is the trees from the Rings of Love, the opposite of the little poinsettias. And this piece is three and three quarters by five, and this is just right from below it, three and three quarters by two and a quarter. So three and three quarters by five, three and three quarters by two and a quarter. Let's go ahead and stick those on. Okay, let's just run out of glue. I was prepared though. I had a feeling that that one was going to run out as soon as I decided to do my live. And again, center that on here. Now I've seen some of these double easel cards where people have hidden things under here. So when you open it up, you see that. Um, I'm not doing that today, but you easily could. 
what I am doing is trying to make sure that these two sides of the of the DSP line up and that it's on here straight. Okay, so let's do a little stamping. So I already cut out some of the mushrooms from the paper. Now we can use a red mushroom or we can use a blue mushroom. So on my one before I used a red mushroom. So I need your help. Hey Roz. Hey Mary, you got a couple more people here. Good. So should we make one using the blue mushroom this time or should we use the red mushroom? So that's our first decision making thing here. And while you guys decide, hopefully some at least somebody will post. I'm going to go ahead. Now remember I told you you could use, you know, just one of our cutout little guys um, that we cut out of the paper, but I decided that we were going to actually use do some stamping here. So, um, red, blue, oh, we got one of each. I need a tiebreaker here. Let me just move that out of the way. And we're going to stamp our little no, it's interesting. I was realizing I was as I was getting ready for this. They call this storybook gnomes, but I, I was trying to remember a story about gnomes. I remember stories from our childhood about trolls, but I don't remember any gnome ones. So, oh, Roz, you're gonna do a little of both. Okay, fine. Okay, so we're going to stamp that, let that dry so we can color that in. Meantime, we're going to stamp the inside and the card. Oh, I didn't show you. This is what I'm using for my sentiments, charming sentiment. Individually cut a hand cut out. Um, and like I said, I don't really have that yet. But, um, and so I decided since I really, really like elves, and then for the inside, it says, oh no, that's the birthday one. It says, beyond grateful. And then let's get our little gnome back in here and we will get him just kind of sneaking up just to say hi again and I'm not going to color that one in that'll just be kind of sitting there hanging out so oh I'm sorry Roz if I'm freezing it's not telling me that I'm having a problem but I'll just keep going and hopefully you'll catch up solar flares. I don't know, Tammy. I call it Cox freeze up. Um, all right. So it looks like we have, we're going with red. So last time I colored him pool party on his hat, I was going to try to do a little, a little balmy blue this time. And you'll see why in a minute. Whoa, this is my one that doesn't work so well. So what I'm going to do for coloring is try to get a little bit of shading and I always take my dark, you know, where they've said shading. And then this is how I do it. I come in from the sides with the dark, the side that, you know, I've watched a lot of people do these things when they talk about knowing where your light source is. So if my light is coming in like this, this side will be lighter, this side will be darker. So there's a little dark balmy blue. And then I'm gonna take the, the light balmy blue and I like to do this kind of in 
crystals and what I'm trying to do is just blend out some of that dark just so it doesn't look like a, a line there and if you have something big like a big flower or something you're going to want to kind of work in sections so that it doesn't um, all dry because it's all pink for his nose. Now let's do the balmy blue for his little mittens too. get it a little darker and then always when you're when you're coloring with your blends make sure you have your color lifter around in case you need it all right so let us get our trusty little baby embossing machine and I'm gonna see which was the correct that's not it That's not it. There we go. Third time's the charm. And then I like to use a little bit of washi tape. I like to color and then cut out um, I just find that easier to have a bigger piece of paper to kind of hold on to. Um, I know some people like to cut out first so they can make sure that that's all going to go well. Um, but once you get used to cutting these guys out, they're actually pretty easy. All right, and remember I showed you that page on the paper? that had the uh, foxes and whatever, I cut out one of those little birds and that's why I decided to use the balmy blue instead of the pool party. I thought it matched a little better. So like I said, these come with a die that will cut this out for you in the little bubble words. 
I don't have it, but I don't find it that hard to cut out these words and do this technique. So it's probably a little faster to do it with the die. just paper and ink. If you don't like it, go back and do it again. Okay, what did that take us? Five seconds here. So I think we are ready to put this together. And we're going to put our little know me guy there, that there. Let's get a bunch of dimensionals. Just remember, this is going to sit up here, so you don't want to put any dimensionals above there. So I'm going to hold my finger here because I made the mistake of doing that wrong when I was doing it with my other one, so we're not going to do that again. Because the um, designer series paper is a little thinner than your regular cardstock, some people would also take this and just cut like a piece of white or something so that the um well, you can see how the uh, blends will just bleed through a little bit but that's okay just make sure you've covered your surface well. There we go, and a little dimensional for our little birdie, who's gonna just hang out here up in the trees. And some little dimensionals for our little thank you. Dimensionals everywhere. You know what, I think I'm gonna switch these so that my, whoops, this time my thank you is over here. And my little birdie is hanging out where, maybe right there. What do you guys think? So we've got Thank you. I do like this card. I think he's just adorable, these little guys. See, I did his hat here in Pool Party, and this one is in Balmy Blue, which I believe matches our little birdie just. So, you know, I like the fact that when they get it, it's going to be really flat like this, and they're going to go, oh, how does this work? Oh, yeah, it opens like this. Very cool. So, he's here. Am I frozen again? No, nope, I don't think so. Oh well. Hey Peggy. Hi Marilyn. Glad you guys could watch and hopefully you enjoyed it and you'll go get your own little gnomies. I'm gonna put you back up. <laughs> And if you're in if you're in San Diego, like I said, next month I'm gonna whoops, I'm falling here. 
I'm going to do a class with the little gnomes in August, and hopefully you can come join me. So, yep, Tammy, I've now enabled you. You get to go order them, too. Good to see everybody. I'll see you next Monday at 1 o'clock Pacific time, and have a great week. Take care. Bye.